So Rico, how do you see Zen and creativity interrelating? Mm. Oh, gosh, I love this question. I mean, this is the question that I ha has been kind of pulling me forward for the last couple of decades. Um, what I see is the one of the things that's so beautiful about Zen and so compelling to me is that it's about getting quiet and still and opening to what is. And when we do that, we meet ourselves and we meet the moment and we kind of wake up or open our eyes and suddenly see what's true and in my experience and my deep belief is that we're all fundamentally creative beings and a huge majority of us have had some kind of uh, I heard them called once as art scars. Like at some point in our childhood, we were told we were bad at singing or bad at drawing or, you know, like when we're kids, we're all like, it's so easy, right? You don't even have to tell a kid what to do. You just give them any material whatsoever. <laughs> and they start making stuff. And I, I believe that's true to who we are and that making art is healing. And so, there's a connection there that when we develop the skills that Zen teaches of opening and allowing and meeting ourselves, that we, uh, it's the same doorway that opens up to creative flow, to creative spirit, to that, like letting that creativity through, which is going to look different for every person, but it's, it's, so it's deeply personal and cosmic and, important so yeah cosmic that's the perfect word to describe it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cosmic yes 